Professor, if you can hear me, which you probably can. Oh, uh, yes. There you go. I think uh, hopefully yeah. I love it. Okay. <laughs> it was quite easy. Let's try once again. Just we say something. Hello, Dr. Kelly. Hello, oh, everyone. In class. Oh, what, what a relief. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll try not to let my cat distract the class too much. No, it is a, it is a poison distraction. Please, please alert your cat to distract the class. Ooh. So, uh, thank you for, for connecting and uh, a special thank you to Boston for coming in person. Uh, it's, it's, it's optional, but I, I think it is uh, really helpful. Yeah, the cold weather. <laughs> Boston, it's not the war warmest. Stay home today because outside it's so cold. <laughs> but yes. I I prefer to come to the class. Okay. okay. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Today is not the warmest day. Um, so, in some sense, uh, today is the easiest one, and maybe it will be the uh, most useful for uh, practical for your practical. Uh, Problems, even even if you are not going to do uh, computational chemistry, there will be some general uh, suggestions that will be, will be definitely useful. So um, I'll chat a little bit before going into into details. So um, we and and uh, I believe uh, you may have received the email from me like two minutes ago with some uh, links to software. So um, the goal for today is to uh, build atomic models. And uh, as you probably remember from the class, uh, any molecule is set of positive nucleus and negative electrons. And electrons, they move so quickly that there is no reason to specify them. They just uh, distributed as well, but for ions moving slowly, and it's typical to set up atomic coordinates. Uh, if we would be ancient era uh, computational chemists, we, we would write down positions of, of ions as uh, Cartesian coordinates. But today there are so many software pieces that help us to do it, so it will be more like entertainment clicking and drawing, drawing the molecule. But the idea is to set up Cartesian coordinates of, of uh, each ion. So if you are uh, using Windows and Mobile Xterm, you will just run the software on the Photon server and practice. If uh, you are uh, using Mark. Then, uh, in uh, among the four links that I have sent to you, you need to identify the uh, X chords and download it. Uh, Kate, did you do you have X chords on your uh, laptop? Your microphone is muted. I have both um, two laptops, so one Mac. And another one, Windows. So now, I'm okay. Then, then you are safe. You can do either one. If things go out, if you do things on the Windows in the in the natural way, if you want to do it on on a map, just plan on the setting up. Uh, Exports, which is um, additional piece that allows to tunnel graphical information between, between uh, like your station and and and, and uh, remote computer. So um, about sixty percent of the time, we will be doing easy and pleasant things. We will be drawing models, and uh, I 
I'm, I'm sure that most of you, and maybe all of you, will like it very much. Um, in the remaining time, I'll show some other uh, pieces of software and, and tell about conversion between formats and um, displaying the molecules without editing. Um, so for the first part, our main uh, piece of software will be so-called Gauss View. And it is the first link among uh, the ones that I, I did send. Um, before we go to practical things, the, if by some reason um, Stephen becomes angry on us and uh, stops, uh, disables connection to the photon server, then we need to survive somehow, right? So the Avogadro software is, uh, that I also listed, is a replacement of Ghost View that is free and can be installed on the personal computer. The um, Ghost View also can be installed, but it is uh, quite expensive. And uh, right now, I, uh, the funds of my, on my grants will not allow to purchase enough copies for, for everyone. It's, uh, it's like uh, the program that does calculations, it's a couple of thousands and, and the drawer is a little less than a thousand per, per, per copy. So it's, and Avogadro is free and does basically the same thing. Um, what else? The homework will be based on what you learn uh, to do. You, you just draw a couple of couple of molecules to make that uh, mostly as assessment for me that I see that you, you know how to do it. And um, are there any other comments? Probably not, probably not. Let's, let's, let's go forward and, and uh, do, not, uh, do not waste time. So um, Stephen, I have forgotten to forward everyone the invitation to CCAST uh, event. Would you please uh, make it send it to the class? Uh, yeah, I I think I can do that. Okay, thank you. It's it's optional. It's not my requirement, but uh, there is a how to say competing organization. There is a <laughs> super uh, big super cluster and their administration, and they want everyone to follow their rules and and teach people. Basically, do the same things, connect to supercomputer and uh, use the facility, which is not bad. I think uh, you can survive without them, but it's an additional resource that you may benefit from. Maybe some of you already do. Okay, so um, I can quickly show the slides, but they are uh, quite boring and not very. Uh, not very useful. It's it's only maybe wasting wasting time. So um, upon we you be we are connected to the uh, uh, cluster. One is running this uh, Ghost View, whatever version is available, and there there will be windows like that where one can uh, click and build, uh, each click will correspond to uh, creating a sphere, which will correspond to position of an iron. And then uh, there will be options uh, to select different elements from periodic table, uh, select coordination because each uh, atom can have different number of neighbors and it uh, follows the symmetry to have the equal angles between them. There will be an opportunity to modify distance if you want to break bond or put things uh, closer, uh, modify uh, angle, uh, tahedral angle, and we'll, we'll go over it. And uh, then one can save and read it. And upon we save and read, we are not going to do any calculations, but we will discuss the, the uh, in order to communi make com have communications with other researchers who may use different software, we need to be able to translate this information between different formats. And it did this uh, little fish 
bubble uh, software that converts uh, codes, converts uh, atomistic models. Okay, I think it is uh, enough. Enough, enough uh, as an introduction, and uh, I suggest we go directly into the actual activity. So, if you were downloading the mobile XTERM software to your uh, equipment, you should be able to run, and you should be able to connect to the um, cluster. To the, to the server. If um, um, just in case uh, you, you didn't do it, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it uh, once again so that uh, you do not feel bo bored. Uh, either connect yourself or, or follow me with whatever is better. So open mobile XTERM, same as we did last time. And then uh, uh, there is a little thing, SSH minus Y, uh, minus X or minus Y for enabling graphical connection. Then, uh, and then list the name of the server, type the keyword, Do not, if it is not your personal computer, do not save it. If it is personal, it will ask you another password of your, uh, of you as a system user. And uh, after you are inside, um, we need to go to the, directory that leads to the disk with a lot of free space. So CD, Stretch and then the index of the class for this uh, year. And then uh, you are just going into your personal uh, sub directory. So I'm going to, to mine, and you, you're going to uh, something different. Just in case. Uh, it looks like a challenge. I will copy paste uh, I'll copy paste this uh, command into uh, into the chat line. Okay, makes sense. Uh, please show if you are in or, or not yet. Not yet, okay, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Um, Professor, can you, uh, is it possible to go up there? SSH, why? Then can you go up there? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll go up just a second. A second. Okay. Yes, I can copy paste this, this command as, yeah. as well. Just copy. Copy. Shut. Paste. So I should have. Lina, you are there? Okay. Uh, Kia, are you there or not yet? Not yet. Okay. Just
And you do not need to retype the thing. You can copy paste it from the chat line, right? Also, there is a little su suggestion that uh, I don't care about, but it was really productive in previous years before we all started uh, wearing masks and connect through, through Zoom. Uh, please consider talking to each other and uh, ask questions to, to each other and if you have a good mood, help to each other. If you if you help much uh, quicker, then uh, I can explain things. Yeah, asking about password. <laughs> Yes, yes, the password is the same as we discussed uh, uh, previous time. Mm. Do you remember it? Do, do not speak it out. Do, do, if you remember, do not tell it. The professor, uh, can you repeat it again? You want me to repeat it? Yeah, just write. Then wait, then wait. I need to stop uh, recordings because if you go to public domain and uh, password shouldn't be there. Mm. Otherwise, uh, Steven will persecute everyone starting from myself. Phones um, recordings, resume recordings. Okay. So um, after I am inside uh, my directory, um, I can create subdirectory for today's lab. You, you can do as well. And uh, during the first couple of webs, it doesn't matter, but if when it counts to uh, having like uh, 12 webs, it could be reasonable to uh, rename them. And here is the command. I will uh, copy it to the chat line. So please tell me what what you see after after you practice this command. Uh, Doctor Cullen. Yes. Uh, so now, do we need to uh, create a folder in our directory called Lab Two or? It's uh, better. It's not wrong. Required, but it is suggested. I'll just ch change the volume a little bit. I see someone is uh, giving the uh, after CD in my laptop. It shows. There is not the directory, it's not working. Well, uh, you do not need to literally follow myself. If you if you didn't create a directory, it will not be there. You need to create directory first. Okay. But it is secondary. Do not waste time on it. Just uh, make sure that your uh, Gauss, that the Gauss view is working. Okay. For me, it shows cannot connect to X server. Pardon? Uh, I put that comment gvu.exe and then and sign it, but it says I cannot connect to X server. Okay, this is a typical message. Uh, if you didn't put minus y uh, during your uh, connection, if you did, oh. if you miss this minus y. Yeah. While connecting, then it will give you this uh, uh, answer. So I should exit and again uh, re enter? Correct. Correct. So this minus y tells that uh, the graphical information will be transferred between uh, uh, your laptop and remote server. Professor, why it always shows that not a directory? So what I need to do? Um, 
you, you may want to create a directory. So um, I, I'm going to go to, into your into your directory, subdirectory. So you need to type mkgir, which stands for make directory web two, and then hit enter. Okay. Gir web two, then enter. Did you? No, it is not here. Uh, uh, what do you see after you type pwd? Professor, just a minute. Lab two. Just, I still do not see your lab, lab two uh, subdirectory. Excuse me, Professor. Uh, again, it shows the same uh, error, cannot connect to X server. Uh, will you please copy uh, your, okay. uh, just copy paste the list, the list of commands into the chat line. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did mistake. Now I can understand. Sarah? Yeah, for it is me. not working. Just please copy paste uh, what you typed and what it answered into the okay. chat line so uh, I can quickly react. No, Professor, now it shows the command not found. Uh, MK. Yeah, it's it's my uh, it's my error. MKGIR. MK. I, I, I typed it wrongly. And if you see my typos. Uh, MK. Uh, yes. Sarah, please uh, type previous command. How how you type SSH? Uh, if you if you are connecting from um, mobile extern and uh, if you are oh. using show previous command, copy paste. Uh, if you practice this uh, uh, syntaxis of this SSH command correctly. Okay, okay, professor. I type a. And then after that, yeah, I uh, type mkdir lab two. I already typed mk uh, for k I type mkdir space lab two enter. Yeah, I entered. Okay. Uh, Sarah, and after you type the password, it lets you in, but then uh, can it connect to a server? Very, very interesting. Um, and are you using Windows or Mac? Mac. Okay, if you're using Mac, then uh, it will not work. I I, uh, I thought only uh, K is using Mac. Then you need to uh, download X chords. Uh, it's, if it's you if you look into uh, I, I knew someone will, will have this. Uh, uh, if if you see this uh, email from myself, so uh, the last last link, uh -huh. X chords, mm -hmm. uh, you may want to. Just go to the link and uh, download and install. It shouldn't take much time and later on it will be beneficial. And uh, after you're done, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. I have Mac with me and I'll demonstrate how it should look like and what to do. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so, uh, so that we do not waste time, I'll, I'll continue demonstration for everyone. But for Sarah, your uh, 
primary, your priority right now is to install this software on your Mac. Okay. Professor, after C, now it shows after CD slash, no such file or directory. <laughs> But I'm maybe I'm able to enter in your lab too. Um, Kia, uh, when you type PWD, what do we see? After PWD, it shows um, uh, that slash home slash clean slash lab two. No, 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 it shouldn't be home, it shouldn't be home. Uh, what happened? Please type the following CD, CD. space, yes. and then just copy whatever I type. Okay. And uh, if someone is ahead of our activities, just please to explore the GoSU software and right click in different uh, buttons there. Uh, you enjoy it a lot. My Windows stopped working, it's hanging totally. Okay, yeah, use your Mac. Okay. Actually, uh, my laptop uh, just a hang. Uh, it, it's not working right now. <laughs> I, I also have some 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 issues. So uh, um, just wait and maybe reconnect. It it, it should work uh, if the internet is quick enough. If if you are able to transmit the video, uh, then the uh, connection should be should be quick enough. You can just maybe re-log in. Okay. Let me. Okay, I, I want to make demonstration to those. Uh, I want to make demonstration to those who uh, were able to run and, and then I'll uh, go over debugging. So um, after you are typing the, uh, after you getting the ghost view, you should get the window that looks approximately this way, right? Uh, so my question is to uh, Lena and to Boston. Did you get the window that looks like this this way? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got now, it. Uh, uh, good. You click new, create molecular group, and you are getting like blue or maybe a white window. Mm -hmm. Then um, you should see the uh, periodic table. It probably should appear right away. So in yeah. periodic table, you create your favorite atom, like uh, typically suggests carbon. Then you are selecting this uh, white window for new molecule. And you start clicking like crazy. Click, then click on the uh, on the hydrogen again. So the gray sphere is uh, carbon. Uh, white series uh, hydrogen click again and again and and you make a alkyl chain of hydrocarbons like si uh, simple polymer right so uh, please try to do this exercise and um, there is there should be um, a button that looks like a broomstick so after you do something, you can click on this broomstick. And if you did something reasonable from chemical point of view, it will stay unchanged. If you uh, draw something crazy, 
if you try to bring it to more reasonable, uh, more reasonable uh, confirmation. So I'll check uh, with uh, Boston and uh, Lina if uh, we can draw these things, and then I will return back to Kaya and uh, Sarah to see how uh, technical issues are, are, are going on. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Lina, were you able to draw things like that? Uh, I I just uh, know how to connect the nuclei with each other. I'll, I'll show it later. It's not a, a oh, okay. one. Yeah, yeah. Also, I could I could okay. see so, on the white uh, the white uh, screen. The, or uh, if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't show things, if it is a white screen, then um, it happens to me as well. I'm yeah. I'm just maybe try to close and. Uh, Open another window. Uh, yeah, yeah, it works well. Great molecular group, and then just click. Um, if you click direct, not in in. If you uh, click on the space around, they will be disconnected. But if you click uh, on on the hydrogen on the nearby atom, it will establish a bond. Okay, so try to play with it. And uh, during, while you're playing, try to go to file and save, and then give it some uh, some name, because later on we will, we will need it. We will need some uh, ex saved examples. And uh, I cannot wait, I'll, I'll answer a question of uh, Lina immediately. So uh, in this builder, there will there should be uh, the option that shows two spheres with stick between them. If you uh, click on it, can uh, I could I I have uh, the uh, three screens. I have the white and uh, the periodic table and. Uh, um, I, I uh, when I think um, I'll. Talk to Kay and Sarah for a minute, and then I'll, when I return to you, I'll, I will ask you to share your screen so that I see what you are doing. Okay. Okay. Just plan uh, on doing it. Okay. So uh, let me. And if I'm busy and uh, talking to one person and and someone is needing help, please type your questions in the chat line. And uh, maybe you will be able to help uh, each other uh, quicker than I can. Uh, I'm very confident that uh, Stephen knows uh, answers to most of the questions that uh, will pop up right now. Okay. So, uh, Sarah, how is your journey with um, X quartz? I have installed it. Oh, sir, but I don't know how to work. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll show what it is. Uh, Kia, were you able to walk in? No, still it shows that I copied that command, and after that, it shows no such file or directory. Um, um I think Kia, would you please share a screen? I uh, let me check if uh, if I gave everyone privileges. Okay. Participants. Yeah. Like co host. Yes. Um, oh, yes. Like co host. Yes. So, uh, okay, when, when you are ready, please. Uh, I already share the screen, so you can ask. No, I, 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 I do. Okay, let me check. No. Okay. No? J just a minute, Professor, just a minute. Okay. Professor, you need to uh, um, make a host in 
another one. Yes, yes, I may I made you a co-host. Okay. I already shared. You can see my uh, screen? No. No. When you are sharing screen, it is a two-step process. First, you tell that you want to share screen, and then you select either window or the whole screen, like which display. Share, share, then this. Okay. Okay. Now it's good. And let's wait a couple of seconds. It may need to transmit information. Okay, so uh, please type cd space slash. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why is too much to cd space? Space, not not space, and then slash. Slash. Enter. Then, Enter. Yeah. Pwd. Pwd. P. Enter. Enter. Ls. Ls. Enter. Enter. Cd. Cd. Then space. Space. Do not forget the space. Space. Scratch zero zero one. Scratch zero zero one. Enter. Enter. LS. LS. Enter. CD space. Space slash. And then, oh, uh, no slash. Uh, chem start, starting from uppercase. Chem underscore four seven six. No, no. CH. Uh, M. No, no, uh, you see it right above where you, uh, C is uppercase and the rest is lowercase. You see it? Came. Underscore 476. Okay. Enter. LS. Enter. En uh, enter, yes. CD space. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can just copy paste this chem up uh, uh, the one that ends with 21. Chem 676 underscore uh, 2021. No, 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 no. Should be all uppercase. Now or uppercase? Yes. You see, yes. Chem 676 underscore Under, Underscore 676. Six seven no. Six seven six underscore underscore two twenty twenty one. Okay, and that previous enter. One. Enter. Ls. Enter. Enter. Cd space k. Yeah. Enter. Ls. Enter. MKDIR. MKDIR. Space. Space. Web two. Enter. Yes. LS. Enter. CD. Space. LAB two. Web two. Yes. Enter. G V G uh -huh. V I E W. Yes. And now hit the tab tab uh, button tab on the left side of the keyboard. Tab side. Tab tab. Uh. What what is tab here? Tabular. It is uh, to the tab. left from the letter Q. So tab, hit tab, then. Yeah, yes, please 
Okay, okay. So now uh, add this uh, uh, shift seven, the symbol that looks uh, yes. very curly. Yes. And now hit enter. Yes, done. So something should appear, uh, some additional windows should appear on your screen. Mm, okay, now it shows something. Okay, now you are on the same page with everyone. Okay, okay, okay. now I understand my mistake. After CD, I uh, forgot to give a space. That's why Great. it shows. Okay. So uh, you may stop uh, sharing the screen, and yeah. I'm going to visit uh, Sarah and make sure that uh, she's uh, getting everything working. Okay. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Professor? Yes? Uh, what should I do? Just wait, I, I will connect from the from other computer and uh, show a little demonstration and then uh, you will share the screen and you, you make sure that things are working at your side. Just a second, it will be quite quick. This? Yes. Okay. okay. It's important. So um, I'm going to share the screen. So uh, in the bottom, in the bottom of the uh, computer. There is a symbol of this. Uh, oh, if you just installed it, uh, make the volume a little lower, and I, I'll put it back when 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 we speak. So um, I go to applications, and I'm trying to find this uh, exports. It could be not directly in applications, but in the uh, utilities. So in utilities, I identify this exports and launch it. Mm -hmm. And after it is launched, I see it on the front panel. And then uh, with my left hand, I hit the button control. And with my right hand, I click the touchpad, the mouse, and I select the applications terminal. Applications terminal. Then uh, there appears uh, there appears new uh, window. And uh, there, um, it shows quite quite small font, but there, uh, I can do the same things as we do in uh, uh, mobile external. External. And there, uh, if I type, uh, 
go through. I'm just skipping browsing through directories, which uh, you shouldn't do. If I type there go through, it uh, immediately comes up everything which, which is needed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I should be able to uh, draw molecules, like rotate and draw um, and utilize the software. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, I'm going to disconnect from this computer. Uh, I, I do not have power plug, so it is on a battery. And uh, I will ask you, uh, Sarah, to um, share screen and I will see if things uh, work and correct uh, on your side. Okay. Second. Okay, it should work. Um. Oh, excuse me. Uh, can I share my screen now? Uh, let me check if I. Sorry, you should be able to share to share a screen. Uh. I have downloaded this to uh, X. Yes, you have downloaded it, but you need to install it, right? Okay, I install it several times. <laughs> if you if you didn't install it, then uh, if you click, um, I installed on the you, no 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 do not do it again. You see utilities. Just slowly move your mouse. Mm -hmm. Utilities. Uh huh. And now you see exports. Click on it. Double click. Just open. Here. Okay. And um, um, I do not see the bottom of your computer, but at the bottom it should appear on your on your uh, panel. I the think X should appear on the uh, control panel. Do you see? It could be either on the left or on the bottom. Uh, was it here? Yeah, I do not see it because it looks like you are sharing on the one window, not the whole uh, desktop. Okay. okay, yes. Now with your, yeah. uh, yes, applications. Applications. Mm -hmm. Terminal. And now here you can type this SSH minus Y. Space minus Y. Enter. Now it's better if you go to correct directory. Correct directory. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't allow. It doesn't. It may not allow to uh, copy. Okay, let's let's quickly type it. Uh, just, uh, type. CD space. Slash scratch zero zero one, and you can hit enter uh, to make sure that it works. Uh -huh. Step by step, CD uh, chem four seven six and the score four seven six. Enter. OK, 
M six seven six underscore twenty twenty one. Enter. 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 And now type G view. G V I uh, letter E U dot E do dot E X E E X E space and then this shift seven. Enter. Software name, you, can, but, uh, you are on the same page as, as uh, everyone else in the class. Thank you. So um, slowly move your mouse to carbon tetra, uh, slowly to the left. You see carbon tetrahedral. Yes, click it. Click here. Uh, and after this, uh, click in the white space. Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It will be worked. Doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Uh, let's try to um, go to the main window. The one is behind periodic table, and uh, file. Go to file. New create molecular group. Okay, and try uh, clicking in this space. Should I again uh, select carbon tetrahedral? No, 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 everything is selected. It shows on the bottom that things are, are going well. Um, I'll try to think uh, how to resolve it, but. Um, here, as you can see, it says 20 atoms. Yes, it means that you, you already uh, draw something. Uh, Visible. I'll, I'll, I'll need time to decide how to debug it. But if uh, we, do, we do not find quick solutions, then uh, um, you may try installing Av Avogadro. Or maybe you already have it if you are in the uh, computational modeling group. OK. It is, it is a backup. So uh, please try uh, just open it, it. It is a free software. If you go in, into browser and install Avogadro, it should uh, work with guarantee everywhere. And uh, as time goes by during the meeting, I'll uh, uh, think if we have a way to revive Gaussian on your, on your terminal. Okay. Please, please stop sharing, and I will do. Uh, we'll talk to the rest of the class now. Okay. So sh uh, should I install Avogadro now? Yes. Um, So um, while uh, Sarah is uh, trying to uh, set up Avogadro, and I I'm thinking on the background if uh, other options are available. So for the rest of the class, please try to do this few hydrocarbons. And uh, one of the interesting exercise is, uh, uh, I believe it was question of, um, Lina, what if I created two groups and I want to connect it together? Uh, Lina, did you ask this question or I misinterpreted? Uh, you? No, no, I got it. I just, uh, everything is okay now. Okay, but well, I'll, I'll show it just in case. So mm -hmm. if there is a, a group of uh, atoms and I, for example, uh, know that 
Right here, the carbon has uh, five uh, bonds, which is definitely wrong in this area. So I may want to erase one. There is a symbol of erasing atom, click it, and then erase atom that I do not like. And now suppose I want to connect this carbon and, and this uh, nitrogen. So I can click on this uh, symbol of uh, modifying bonds. So clicking on the first atom, second atom, and then there appears a menu that allows to change the bond order, one, two, three, one point half. And then uh, there is an option to pull them together. And uh, if you have one uh, group of atoms that you do not want to disturb, you can fix, and then it will stay fixed and you bring another piece closer to you. You bring it uh, to the reasonable interatomic distance, click OK, and then um, if it looks a little bit corrupted, uh, there is a uh, mouse view on the mouse, or just uh, with two fingers come uh, forward and backward on the trackpad uh, to make it bigger or smaller. And if it looks ugly, instead of correcting it by hand, there is a broomstick. You click it, it uh, modifies to the reasonable thing. Now, chemically, I think that uh, there, are, there are too many hydrogens. I still want, may want to remove a couple of them. Take one, remove two, and do this uh, broomstick once again. So it looks more, uh, and there, there is one more uh, wrong hydrogen here. Okay. Now this one is more reasonable. So um, what I, uh, if everything is working, and I, I will make sure and, and uh, uh, visit with everyone, but uh, if you came to the stage of making uh, such simple molecules, uh, I would like you to practice, practice uh, three things, one after another. So modify, modify the, um, um, distance between two atoms. Modify distance between two. Modify distance between between atoms. Um, So click on two atoms and just make sure that you can uh, uh, modify distance between any pair of atoms manually. So it is exercise num number one. Uh, exercise number two is uh, se uh, select this uh, little thing that tells modify angle. So then you need to click on three atoms. From where you get uh, that um, tools? There, left side, you show some toolbar. So from where? Yes. Uh, let's ask uh, uh, Stephen how to bring this uh, toolbar up. So, which toolbar are you asking about? Uh, I think the uh, I builder. Think how to bring builder up. Yes. What should you click on the main menu to bring the builder uh, to the front? Yeah, she can go to view and just click on builder. Okay. Thank you, Lina. Mm -hmm. uh, Kea? Yeah. Did you, did yes. you get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Stephen, sorry that uh, Lina was, was <laughs> a, little, a little ahead. <laughs> Uh, I, just, I, <laughs> no, that's I understand the question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So uh, the, if you are done with, uh, if, if you are confident with the exercise about uh, the uh, interatomic distance, then the next thing is um, the angle. And then if you click uh, on uh, two atoms, it will uh, modify uh, angle between them. And for some molecules, it is an uh, important uh, degree of freedom. And sometimes optimization doesn't go into the right way and you need to modify it manually. Uh, so it is exercise number two. And uh, there will be exercise number three that um, let me focus your attention on I'll, I'll make it bigger. So if we look on this gray carbon, blue nitrogen, and uh, hydrogens that are nearby. Right now, if I draw a plane, right, there will be two hydrogens up and two hydrogens down. Uh, if we redo both of these hydrogens to be on the same side as the other, it will be slightly different molecule, same chemical combination, but different isomer. And it may have different properties. It may differently uh, process circularly polarized light. It may have slightly different energy. So we need to be able to modify this uh, like two uh, rabbit's ears to put on the opposite side. So this thing is um, referred to as dihedral angle. And in order to modify it, one needs to specify uh, four atoms. So if uh, you look, on the next thing here, modify the hydro. It will give an option to click on four atoms. One, two, three, four. So it should be pair of uh, atoms in the let me stay unchanged. And uh, one atom before this clear and one atom after this clear. So if I uh, take this bar and pull this trigger, see what happens. They are rotating in respect to each other. Yeah. And if one doesn't want to disturb the main part of a molecule, I can say that uh, atom number one will be fixed then the most part of the molecule will be staying uh, where, where we do. And this uh, two hydrogens will be uh, changing its uh, dihedral angle. <laughs> I see uh, Kay smiling and I was expecting this reaction. I think uh, uh, everyone should, should uh, like this uh, exercises. So please try uh, try doing it, and while while uh, uh, you're trying to do it, I will uh, uh, check with Boston and then visit with uh, each of you and see how things are going. Something is <laughs> uh, Lina, how things are uh, going at your side? Were you able to do all these exercises? Uh, do you want to show something or to complain that something is not working? Uh, if you want, I can share my screen. Okay. So you want me to share the screen? Yes. Okay. Can, yes. can I do that now? Yes. Okay.
Okay. Oh, we're working by the fourth avenue. Ah, I see you can do it, Adams. Mm -hmm. The number of atoms. <laughs> ah. And can you modify uh, angles and the hydros? Yeah, so this is angle between three atoms. Uh -huh. And uh, we want one of them. Well, uh, Atom is three here is fixed, for example, so we can do just. Ah, very good. Yeah. Or this with four. So we have one, two, three, four. And then we can just rotate it on. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you may stop sharing the screen. Uh, Kia, would you like to share your screen? Okay, just a minute. And you need to uh, share like, the, the, the whole desktop, not only. Not one video, but the, but the, but the whole desktop. Your screen. Mm -hmm. I think now it's on. So if okay. I want to uh, add, that means I need to click this and this. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. So, like any bond. Yes, you can click here. And you can also click on the, uh, you see the bond. Pull the, bar, pull the bar to change the distance. Yes, and this one. This yes. one, if I want to change this, then okay. I can. Yes. And then click OK. OK. Then. Uh, let, let me uh, wait, wait, wait. Please let me suggest something. In okay. the builder, in the builder mm -hmm. please find the broomstick. Broomstick. Broomstick, the brush. Click. Click. Yes, uh -huh, yes. click. click. Then if I want to clean this one, so just click this. this. Okay. I, uh, you see it, it slightly changed the distances and angles. Uh, so it is some low level optimization. Okay, and now please demonstrate how you change angles and uh, the hydros. Okay. So if I want to change angle, then use this, mm -hmm. then click this one, suppose. Uh, there, there, no, this two. Between two, like mm -hmm. this. If I want to fix any atom, I can fix. I can fix one atom and then uh, rotate. Uh, it's not rotated. This ang uh, angle already changed. Mm -hmm. then, then okay. After that, this one, this one. For this, we can choose four, one, two, four. then three. Uh, 
yeah, it's already four. So this suppose I fix atom four, then oh. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. So you may stop sharing. And okay. I'll, I'll give a little assignment for everyone who uh, has entertainment. Okay. And, and then okay. uh, we'll talk to Sarah. Uh, okay, for example, uh, if I want to delete, then I want to delete any right. item, I need to use this one. Yes. And what about this scale and question mark? I do believe it is for distance. Let's check with uh, Stephen. But uh, we do not need it right now. Okay, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, sir, did you install the um, Avogadro? Yes. Okay. Um, So you open Avogadro. There should be Output oh, um, intensity over and over the back of the we need to talk. So there is a little button which looks like a um, pencil, and then there is a list of uh, atoms. So you you click carbon. It shows it shows uh, the carbon. If uh, I draw something uh, wrong, I put undo. And uh, I can also click uh, the make this sequence of uh, of atoms. Uh, the ways to practice it a little bit different. So you click on the atom you want to connect and just connect things together, and then they automatically merge. And after doing it. Um, if I click this little star, I am not editing it anymore. It, I am just viewing it from different angles. And uh, if I want to do some uh, basic optimization, I click this energy symbol and click uh, start. So it, it, it does uh, some simple level uh, molecular mechanics for optimization. And um, For uh, it, it, it doesn't have this uh, ways to change um, the hydros and and angles, but basically one can uh, draw anything what what is needed and just get uh, reasonable things through um, optimization. And you see, it has this option to draw things uh, without stopping optimization it like uh, optimizes right away as, as as you draw as you draw so um, optimization stop and um, the another thing which is uh, cool in um, avogadro is um, that if if i have more than uh, more than one molecule, I can select what I, what I need, like part of an object. And then if I click this uh, manipulation tool hand, I can uh, put it further away or 
closer to the molecule just to if, if I need to model the uh, if I need to model the binding. And uh, one can also uh, there are several combinations of keys like control uh, when one changes angles. Uh, Shift and the, the option so that one can manually uh, move things around and put them put them together. So if you are planning to place polymer on the surface of uh, of the clay, it could be a reasonable reasonable tool. So um, I'm going to stop sharing on on this screen. And we'll invite you to share your screen. Uh, just try playing with some uh, uh, drawing some basic molecules and manipulating them. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, now they're connected. And then energy minimization. Yes, you could just energy and then just start. Yeah, see, it, it works. It works well. And uh, maybe you may try to, uh, before, before you start manipulating, uh, it makes sense only if you have more than one molecule. So it, it is more efficient if you, uh, create another molecule aside. Yes. And now, uh, not, not this one, uh, next to the right, the arrow, arrow. Yes. Now with this arrow, you uh, select the area uh, in your simulation cell. Just go to the simulation cell, to the black, to the black area, black area, and click, click and hold, click. And uh, cover this uh, methane molecule, for example, like this, and release. And now go to this uh, finger, finger manipulate. Yes, uh, Z uh, up. Yes, click once up, and now click apply at the bottom. Now go back to Z, click down, and now click apply. Make sense? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So I, I think uh, uh, everything works works well, and uh, um, you you are now most independent uh, member of the, of the class. <laughs> you, you do not you you can say uh, you, you do not need to be nice to Stephen. <laughs> he doesn't have power to <laughs> prevent you from anything. Okay. Uh, you may stop uh, sharing and uh... okay. And I'm going to uh, share a screen and offer a little uh, exercise that I just did before the class. So please try to um, do this uh, model. With, with the tools you have. Um, if you, um, I'll send to everyone uh, uh, the buckyball model, so uh, especially to Sarah uh, and uh, to those who are using Gauss, you, there is a buckyball template in the, in the Gaussian. So um, this molecule is a little, of, uh, a little bit interest for uh, myself. Uh, because bringing this uh, um, benzene ring with uh, nitrogen, it is known as aniline, it is a dye, 
And if it is absorbed to uh, fuller ren or to carbon nanotube, it changes its color and it becomes emitting light efficiently. But uh, it is important that uh, if I am uh, setting this anilin closer, I also remove hydrogen from anilin and put it on the near, uh, nearby carbon. So please try to do it yourself. And uh, in, a, in, a, in a minute, I will, I will do it once again, just to, to demonstrate to demonstrate how I was doing it. If you will be able to follow it, then uh, the homework, which uh, I was showing yesterday in the class, will be super easy for you to do. This one is more complicated than the one in uh, uh, than the, the one in the class. So, um, I'm going to quickly send. Um, So uh, Sarah should be able to just uh, open it uh, and then add things. And the, the rest of the of the class uh, do not necessarily need to uh, to open it. Uh, you should be able to pull the full from uh, from the database. I'll, I'll show it in, in, in a second. So um, open. Uh, so a, a little thing that goes forward in, into the next stage. Um, if I want to open files, you see that there are several formats, and uh, there there were and there are a lot of uh, skilled programmers and scientists each of which thinks that they are the champion and can serve humankind better than others. And each of them create another piece of software. So uh, um, they, they are complementing each other. But if you want to cooperate, we need to be able to communicate with colleagues. And uh, a lot of authors used slightly different formats. I'll, I'll demonstrate how the files look like. And uh, they just, uh, replace, for example, string with a uh, like line with a column, or the uh, skip, they write explicitly the name of the element, or just they put number in the periodic table. Some they, some list neighbors, some skip the neighbors of, of, of the atom or bonds. And um, later on, not this second, but maybe even today, in like 15, 20 minutes, we will learn how to convert it into forms. Now, uh, just make sure that we select the right format, for example, PDB. And it's not quite a fuller end. It is uh, some uh, additional, if you are in, in engineering of uh, photo uh, what excels, it is uh, functionalized soluble fuller end that is used as electron acceptor. Um, and one can just remove atoms that you do not like and put the stuff that I suggest you to put. Uh, so it is it is the way that uh, Sarah may do. Just open PDB standard format uh, that is acceptable by most of the software. You can open it, remove not needed atoms and put needed atoms. Um, if you have access to Gauss U, open, uh, not open. 
molecular group. Now I am going to bring up this builder. So if you inspect the builder, you see that in addition I'm not so tall. I better bring the, the panel a little bit over. Okay. So, in addition uh, to selecting the uh, periodic table, there is a symbol of the exam, which means a database of most common uh, organic chemistry radicals. So, uh, if I click there, then uh, there will be a list of, of typical things that you may use if you do organic chemistry. If you ever take uh, whole chem and you need to do homework, instead of scratching molecules with your pencil, you can just quickly create uh, draw molecules. And uh, all typical functional groups are here. Like this one, styrofoam, is also used for cells. Um, the this two rings is not something that is used uh, to protect uh, clothes from insects. And uh, C60 is this uh, sphere like soccer ball made of carbons. So I just click, uh, click on this soccer ball. You see it appears here. And then I go into this white space and just click once. So it is here. And after this, I go to Builder and return back to, um, maybe I can cheat a little bit and do things quicker. I can go into this database and maybe select things that looks uh, closest to the aniline. So I take this uh, and then ring. Yes. And now I'm, I'm almost done. See, most components are here. Now I'm going back to the um, periodic table. And I need, uh, I need at least uh, one nitrogen, which I will put right here to convert the benzene into aniline. You see it, it uh, fixes the uh, amount of hydrogens in the right way. And just in case, if my hands will be shaking, I save, I may save intermediate drawing, just in case. Now, um, I'm going to uh, make an analog of chemical reaction. So I'm not going to lose any uh, matter. Conservation of matter should stay. So I need to transfer hydrogen to one of these carbons. And I need to bring this carbon to closer to another carbon. Right? So uh, for example, I can do it with this uh, uh, builder. Other things by modifying the distances. So I, uh, first I can deprive this uh, hydrogen, tell that we do not have a bond, none. And then I can put it away. Just put hydrogen away. Okay. Now I uh, can connect this hydrogen with one of the carbons on the buckyball and tell, okay, we do have a bond. And now I can bring it a little closer. Or if I do not want to move the whole buckyball, I can uh, uh, translate this and fix this. Bring it closer, 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 closer. So CH uh, bond should be about one angstrom. Okay, done. 
Now I need to connect this carbon and uh, another carbon on, on a body ball. So I want to say that it is uh, a bond. And uh, instead of bringing it manually, I can try using a uh, broomstick. Uh, it, like, so uh, I, I need to give you a disclaimer that the broomstick is not a true optimization. It's mostly using database and results after broomstick are not published. There are additional ways to do trustable optimization that we will learn. The optimization that Sarah was doing on, on uh, Avogadro is better. And there, there is a true molecular mechanics and advanced methods uh, in Gaussian. But right now, we do this uh, oversimplified uh, and it, it brings uh, stuff close enough. So you see, quite complicated model is uh, created in a reasonably short time. Right? And uh, after it is done, I can save it. Uh, maybe just tell that it is done, or or tell that it is C sixty anilino, whatever I like. And just in case, because. I'm going to convert files. I will also save in the PDB uh, because it is more universal PDB format. Save. Whew. So uh, please tell me if uh, anyone needs uh, help with. Uh, uh, these steps. It, it is not for, for the grade, it's only a demonstration, and uh, uh, the molecule that I suggest you for homework will be a, a little easier. But if you see some fundamental difficulties in uh, drawing molecules, let me know that. So how about uh, drawing the molecule in the Avogadro? Uh, do not draw this uh, buckyball in the Avogadro, just Open the file that I did send to you. Okay, I opened it. And then delete atoms that you do not need and put atoms that you do need. Okay. Uh, for to delete atoms, uh, you can use this uh, arrow arrow tool. Select area around atoms that you do not need, and then just click click button delete. Did it work? Working. Okay, uh, I'm going, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to offer some new information to everyone. And then if there are questions, I will visit personally through connection. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, there is a little bit time left for today, and I want at least to introduce uh, converter. So you, you have seen that uh, the Gauss U and Avogadro with different formats, and um, some authors of the software try to be nice to their, uh, how to say, colleagues, and make this uh, long list of available formats, but it, no one is perfect. So there is about 100 traditional formats in typical software reads maybe 10. Um, there, are, there is a standard format that is, uh, the name is uh, Babel. And um, um, here, is uh, the file that I just created. More than DB. So it looks quite long and unreadable. 
uh, and maybe for better example, I would uh, create even simpler something like methane CH4 uh, or just hydrogen uh, uh, molecule. But um, we can recognize that these three uh, columns likely are Cartesian coordinates, X, Y, and Z of the atom, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. Right? So it is read readable by a human, but maybe a little too information. Um, the most typical information would be just Cartesian coordinates and nothing else. So um, there is a table. Uh, software that uh, performs conversion between like 99% of all available code. And um, if I forget how to use it, I just put Babel minus H, which means help, and then it gives a, a little menu. The, uh, so you see it's a, maybe even 200 things. One can find uh, explanation uh, online. And it is, this uh, command is not a standard part of the Linux distribution, but one can download it onto the personal computer, even in graphical form, but command line is, is more reliable. So the uh, format is as follows, minus I, which means input. Then you type three letters PDB for the type of the uh, original file. Then you type minus or for output. Then the way that you prefer. And then you type the name of the output file. So I uh, click enter. And it thinks a little because it is a, a big molecule. And while it is thinking, I'll uh, copy, I'll copy. Put it into the chat line. Okay. It should work a, a, a little quicker. But, uh, if, if it fails, I'll just do a quick uh, demonstration with uh, something really small. So it will be like uh, iron of ammonia in H2. Smaller molecules work a little bit better. So uh, in, uh, initial molecule. Oh, I should do X Y Z things. Probably it. Uh, Probably it, it, it means that we shouldn't. Uh,
Minus output. X, Y, Z, and three dot X, Y, Z. So, following the input module, it shows quite. Uh, since it is small module, it is not not very much, but it shows connectivity, and it still may uh, scare a human. But if I look on the output. It looks very much uh, readable. So it uh, shows the information that there are uh, four atoms, then some information, and then types of atoms, and H, 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 and then X, Y, and Z coding. In some sense, um, to be completely independent of the software, if we have general chemical uh, ideas, we can create molecular models just by typing in uh, such files. And uh, one can create it in the XYZ format and then convert it into any format that uh, one is needing for uh, doing calculation. The only information that is needed for uh, calculations is uh, positions of, of, of ions. And uh, if it is quantum calculations, if it is force field, one also needs types types of bonds and, and uh, uh, information about uh, order of the bond. Okay, I believe it is it should be enough for today. Uh, the homework is in uh, at the beginning of yesterday's slides, so just look at the molecules that are shown there and try to draw them and uh, send to me. Uh, either as image or yeah, better as an as an image. Just draw and make screenshot, but save it also as a as a file for yourself. And um, any new info, uh, I'm done with offering any new information. Right now, I'm going to stay and answer questions if there are some. But if you have no questions, uh, you're welcome to disconnect and and, and depart. Huh? What was the sign up command again for the photon server? Oh, uh, I guess it's Sage. Yeah, just how to get out of it so I don't like to say it. Oh, time. sign out. Yeah. Exit. Okay. Just type exit and enter. Lina, do you have any questions? Yeah. Everything is okay, thank you. Thanks, Dr. Tom. Okay, if, if you uh, come up with some questions, feel free to send an email or ask them during uh, our Friday session. Okay. Uh, Officer? Yes, Kea? Uh, what is this? Or is I, I, I see that there, there are two images of Kaya. Can I uh, share my screen and show you the model that you built in the... I, I, I built it Just in... Just please. Uh, so you, you, you please do so. Stop sharing myself. Is it right? Uh, almost. So 
let's let's uh, I, I, there is one extra carbon that we do not need. So let's um, you see there is a one carbon between ammonium group and uh, carbon. If you increase, can you please roll the button or uh, two, these two fingers increase it, make it bigger? No. Or keep keep this way. Um, let me suggest uh, stop optimization. Stop. Okay. Now uh, select the uh, symbol of um, arrow in the in the menu. This one. Yes. And now let's select uh, the. Uh, I can I can show it here. Let's select this carbon in between uh, buckyball and um, uh, aniline. Can you select it? What? Yes, correct. And now uh, just delete. There should be either delete on the keyboard or click. Uh, in the, oh, okay, good. And now uh, connect one carbon from uh, aniline and one carbon of uh, um, select the uh, yes the pencil right and now just connect uh, choose carbon right and now click on the carbon and do not release click and pull until it comes to another carbon click and continue like yes and now release and go back to e optimization mm -hmm. and, and uh, optimize yes yes now it is correct mm -hmm. okay thank you thank you and then after that i should uh, make a save as in yes the... yes you How? can stop otherwise it, it, it keeps doing a little optimization you can stop optimization Mm -hmm. Then file. File, yeah, save as. And uh, yeah, and select different format. PDB file. PDB is is, is is good. Okay, save. Yep, very good, very good. And then the rest is uh, the same that you did. Yes, if you look through the notes, I can show them now once again. The notes for last lecture, there are a couple of molecules that I'm asking uh, everyone to draw as a homework. Uh -huh, okay. And it, uh, if you were able to draw this model, the other model will be much simpler. Okay, thank you. Well, not much, much simpler, but simpler. There are less atoms. Okay, thank you. If you do not have more questions, you, uh, yeah, thank you for stopping uh, to, to share a screen. So, uh, if there are questions from uh, uh, Kea or Lina, you're welcome to share a screen and. Uh, Uh, I, I don't have any questions. Thanks, Dr. Keller. Ah, okay, not, not a problem. Yeah, bring, bring this. Um, well, am I probably I'm, I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong lecture. I didn't download it here. Not sure. Oh, no, I, I do not have it here. But uh, you, you do remember, it's it's the same aniline connected to small cluster of uh, uh, silicons, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, if, if you, it, it should be like five minutes clicking 
and and doing uh, and send me the image uh, by by Friday if you can. If it doesn't work, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to assist. Okay. Uh, any questions from uh, Stephen? Okay. Yeah. Well, many thanks for connecting and for active participation. I think we did a uh, very important part that opens the door into next uh, sections of computations. And I'm really happy that we were uh, able to debug some uh, software issues so that everyone is able to uh, analyze models and then draw models. And uh, if, you, if you did like uh, dihedral angles, I'm happy to, to observe it. Okay, uh, meeting is done. Yeah. Everyone is welcome to disconnect. I'll just, I will slowly disconnect and maybe in a minute I'll just wait if uh, there will be some other questions. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you.